This case considered the issue of damages and whether or not a man who leased a property for which he lacked the power to do so was liable in damages to the man who intended to lease the property. In this case, a contract in relation to a lease for a property was entered into. However, before the property was leased, the owner of the property refused to allow the lessee to take possession of the property. The owner of the property, as it turned out, did not have the power to lease the property and that the property was in fact held in trust. He argued, therefore, that he was unable to lease the property and that it was only the trustees of the estate that had that power.